So we've been talking about how it's going to be a busy weekend for traveling, people hitting the road and the air to get away for the holiday. But as we start to return more and more to normal, some people are becoming nervous about flying after hearing about an increase in passengers behaving badly. Nicole Ford is live with what the TSA is offering to help. Nicole. Ken, the numbers are just downright shocking. The FAA reports opening 491 investigations into unruly passengers just this year. That's the most cases they've seen in nearly two decades of recording. Now, as more flights take off, the TSA is arming those crew members with self-defense training. It's a packed weekend to head out of town. Well, I was very surprised how many people were at the airport. Lines everywhere. Some are returning home from vacation while others are off to visit after a long pandemic. A lot of us have stayed home for a long time and uh, getting back out here. We want to get where we want to go. Ralph Bell tells me he's noticed people are more impatient in the airports now, and he's right. In just the first half of this year, the FAA says it's received 3,201 unruly passenger reports, with nearly 500 of them turning into full-fledged investigations, a concerning statistic for Bell. A little skeptical about flying because I've read a lot of stuff about it. And then there's this, video after video on social media of chaos in the skies. This flight from Los Angeles was forced to make an emergency landing because of an unruly passenger earlier this month. And in this video, a North Carolina passenger escorted off the plane after a mask argument. It even happened this week on a flight to Pittsburgh. It's a little scary. We actually had an incident coming into a town this time and that someone got bumped from the flight and tried to and came down the gangway and the pilot had to slam the door shut. The flight crew, the heroes in many of these situations. To give them an extra layer of defense, TSA is starting back up self-defense classes for all crew members. I think anyone who works in the airline and is on the plane dealing with passengers should definitely have some kind of defense training in these times. This video shows how flight attendants and pilots will learn hand to hand combat to help them in any situation. Based on what I what I've read, what I saw, uh, it's needed. I talked to several flight crew members who didn't want to be identified, but tell me they have experienced some of these situations and believe any extra training will help, especially as travel starts to pick up. Now, TSA tells me it hopes that the crew members don't have to actually put this training into action, but they believe the extra protection is needed. Reporting live at Pittsburgh International Airport tonight, Nicole Ford, KDKA News.